Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Market Minute with Jake. I am your host, Jake Eldridge, with Realty One Group Eminence. And in today's Market Minute, we are discussing the real estate activity for the Fernley, Fallon, and Silver Springs areas of Northern Nevada. If we take a look at that real estate activity, it does show there is currently 69 homes actively for sale right now in the region. And 37 out of that 69 did indicate they would be eligible for FHA financing. I always make note of that because many buyers out there are not only taking advantage of historically low interest rates, but in addition to that, they are using FHA financing so they can put as little as 3.5% down as the down payment to purchase a new home. When it used to be that sometimes you had to come up with upwards of 20% as the down payment in order to purchase a home. So when we dive right into the numbers again, there was 69 homes actively for sale. The highest list price was at 2 million and the low at only 55,000. There was one home in that zero to 100,000 price range, seven homes in the 100 to 200,000 price range, 19 homes in the 200 to 300,000 price range, 13 homes in the 300 to 400,000 price range, 12 homes in the 400 to 500,000 price range, eight homes in the 500 to 600,000 price range, three homes in the 600 to 700,000 price range, one home in the 700 to 800,000 price range, two homes in the 800 to 900,000 price range, one home in the 900,000 to 1 million price range, one home in the 1 million to 2 million price range, and one home in the 2 million to 3 million price range. So when we break all of these numbers down, it uh, does indicate that right now there is a median list price of about 370000 and an average list price of about 429000 If we take a look at the days on market activity for the region, it is showing that there is currently a median days on market of only 33 days and an average days on market of about 87 days. Now, as you know, I do like to break things down even further for you guys. Uh, with inventory being so limited right now, I think it's very important that home buyers pay attention to two things. First, make sure you are looking at anything on the MLS that is in a new status. That is going to be the most recently listed homes for sale. Secondly, make sure you're also keeping your eyes on anything that is in a back on market status. What that status indicates is that the home sellers had actually already previously accepted an offer to purchase their property, but for whatever reason, the buyer backed out of that transaction. Now, it could simply be because the financing fell through and they were unable to qualify for a loan to purchase the home, but it also might be due to home inspections or appraisals. Now, the good thing for those of you who are actively searching for a home to purchase in keeping your eyes on that back on market status is that the home sellers are going to be extremely motivated to get that home back into contract again and moving forward towards a successful close of escrow so that they can walk away with the proceeds from that sale. So when I break the numbers down solely based on that new or back on market status, 10 out of the 69 homes that were for sale were in that new or back on market status and nine out of the 10 indicated they would be eligible for FHA financing. There was a high list price of only 525,000 and the low list price at only 235,000. Four homes in that 200 to 300,000 price range, two homes in the 300 to 400,000 price range, three homes in the 400 to 500,000 price range, and one home in the 500 to 600,000 price range. So when I break those numbers down, it indicates that the median list price for a home in the new or back on market status is sitting at only 378,000 and the average at 361,000. So that is it for today's Market Minute with Jake. As always, if you do enjoy this content, please don't forget to click that like button. If you have family or friends who might actively be searching for a home to purchase or who need help with the sale of their existing home, I'd love the opportunity to have a conversation with them. So please feel free to tag them in this video as well. 
you can reach me a few different ways. Uh, first and foremost, call me on my cell phone seven days a week at 775-378-4976. You can also email me at jakeeldridge32 at gmail.com. Or if you are watching on Facebook, simply click that send message button and you can use Facebook's messenger service to send an instant message with those questions. And I am, of course, always happy to answer that way as well. So thank you again for watching today and have a great night.